learning more about a top secret extraterrestrial program that never actually happened. The Pentagon says the government once had a plan to reverse engineer any recovered UFOs. The plan was proposed to the Department of Homeland Security, known as Kona Blue, but apparently no one heard about it because they say they never were able to collect any, quote, otherworldly spacecraft. Let's bring in News Nation's Joe Khalil, who is live for us in Washington, with more Joe. Yeah, so it's interesting. This is a program that we've just learned about now from Aero. They just released newly declassified documents from Homeland Security, and it lays out this special access program or top secret program called Kona Blue. The purpose of which, according to these documents, was uh, to acquire, to study, to engineer, and to identify technology from what they called AAVs, or Advanced Aerospace Vehicles, so what we might now fall under the category of UAPs. And it's here for you in black and white. These newly declassified documents are laying out in incredible detail how the program itself was stood up. It lays out a budget, 12 to 15 million dollars the first year, 25 million the second year, eventually upwards to 50 million. And it also laid out its purpose, which was national security. Remember, this is Homeland Security and DOD working together on this. The document says the purpose was to, I'm quoting now, access recovered advanced technology and determine its threat capability. Within that, explicitly, is also a detailed effort to try to reverse engineer these recovered technologies and also to get a grasp on whether our adversaries, and in particular, they're named in this report, China and Russia, have access to recovered AAVs as well. Now, at one point in the justification for why Kona Blue would need to remain classified, it says here, and I'm quoting again, recovered AAV technology exists in and is accessible only within an SAP, or Special Access Program, construct. And it goes on to say, retrieval and integration of historical data from high-value personnel with knowledge of recovered AAV technology and present location of recovered material is accessible only with a classified construct. If you take a look at another document here that we found within this, it also, you know, for those who think this may sound sci-fi or, or crazy, this is the Undersecretary of Science and Technology, so one of the top scientists at Homeland Security at the time, Tara O'Toole, reading and signing off on this program, approving it. Now, all of this is significant because for years, Kona Blue was talked about, rumored about. Just last month, for the first time, the Department of Defense acknowledged that it existed, and now, for the first time, we're actually seeing it in black and white. Now, what DOD has said is that they scrapped this program because, yes, they meant to retrieve uh, this kind of material and reverse engineer it, but they say they didn't actually find anything. That was what the Pentagon said last month, so they ended up scrapping the program. We did just, in the last 15 minutes, get a comment from Homeland Security. They say that this program was never actually approved, but still fascinating to see this laid out in such detail in black and white for the first time there, Nicole. All right, Joe, Khalil live in Washington. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.